All right, good afternoon, everybody. PA Figs here. So this is part two of pinching, a little bit more advanced than the previous video that I showed. So we are here at the um, beginning of August, and in Pennsylvania, our season usually only goes until the end of September, maybe the first week of October before we get our first frost, and then ends our season. So this part of pinch, pinching will be on focusing the energy to the fruits that will ripen in that time period. And here we have a beautiful Bordesote Negro Ramada that we are going to go ahead and demonstrate on. So let me zoom in a little bit here. And what I want to show you is all of the fruit on this tree. And you can see here's the first fig that formed, it's the largest. Here's the second fig that formed back here, second largest, and so on. And you can see as they go up the branch, they get smaller and smaller. And so if we come over here and look at this branch, same thing. These figs here are in the stagnant stage, waiting to swell and ripen. Probably a few more weeks on these guys if we get some good heat. Same thing, and as I keep going up, these all have a potential to ripen. Now I'm getting a little iffy now. If you look at the size comparison just between these two nodes and three nodes, you can see this one here will probably ripen, hopefully. This one here, oh boy, that's a big maybe. This one here is still growing and not into the stagnant stage yet. There's probably no way that one's going to grow. And then they keep getting smaller and smaller. And you can see these two up here just recently formed. So what we're going to do is called the twist and pinch. So this is a fig that will never ripen this season and it can't overwinter here in Pennsylvania. It won't last, it'll just drop. So what we're gonna do is we're going to twist and pinch. And that fig will come off. Be careful of the latex. That latex will burn you. And we're gonna do that with all of these ones that have no chance to ripen this year. So by this point in time here in zone six, if your figs are not to the stagnant stage, chances are with only a little bit over a month to go, they're not gonna ripen. So feel free to go in here, twist, oh boy, this one's tough, and pinch, and get those off of there. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow this tree to concentrate on ripening all these other figs. And you can see there's tons of them. Same with this branch. There's some bigger ones in the stagnant stage, right here, getting a little smaller, and then getting much smaller to newly formed. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna twist, pinch, twist, pinch. We're gonna get rid of all of these life suckers. They're beautiful, but they're gonna do nothing but get in the way of your tree and take energy away from the figs that will ripen. Okay, I'm gonna leave the rest of those. And I'm gonna do that with every single branch. And be careful that you look at the smaller branches because you can see this guy down here, it's got a couple of larger figs and then a couple of smaller figs. And again, we are going to twist and pinch, twist and pinch. And it doesn't take too long, but it'll make a big difference. And this is one thing that I'm really not good at doing and I should do more often. And speaking of latex, if you look right there in my hand, you can see a latex burn. I think that was from a couple of years ago. So they uh, are definitely serious and I've got it on me. So I will, that's definitely a spot you wanna get it off of. It's uh, underarm, very sensitive, and I can actually feel it burning already. So once I'm done with this video, I have to go scrub up, take care of those. So I'm gonna get rid of as many of these as I can and have this tree focus its energy on the fruit that may ripen. And it pains me to do this every year. Every time I do it, it pains me because the fruit are so beautiful, but it's the best thing you can do to ensure that you have a decent crop is twist and pinch. Say it with me, twist and pinch. And just keep reminding yourself that it's for the betterment of your tree and it'll focus all of its energy on the fruit that it's going to ripen. And I'm gonna leave that guy on because it's just so darn cute down here at the base, so I'm gonna leave him on. You don't have to get them all, but every one you do get will certainly help the rest of the tree. 
and it will definitely make your crop sweeter, larger, and ripen more quickly. And it is a definite process that you should add to your repertoire this time of year on all of your trees. Now, if you're in a really warm climate like California or Texas, where your trees don't really go dormant as early as mine, then this can wait until uh, a good, I'd say, month to month and a half before the end of your season. But it's definitely something that I recommend you do. All right, I'm PA Figs. Take care, everybody.